Please, someone make the drilling stop. Please, please, please. Who the fuck drills on a Sunday? Orders are more like guidelines, really. Five CS Talon gameplay over here. That kind of sucks if I had Q up right there. I would have destroyed the trade. Oh my god, the drilling might stop, guys. I think I should have jumped on him though. Nice. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Winners don't shock. Not bad trade. Can kill him since I'm level six now. That no bat. You don't hurt him if you don't hit him. Gonna buy a pink. Rare nemesis pink or buy. Let's go back to lane. Hello, bless your son is bad. Now we have to wait for our ultimate to be back. It's gonna be very hard to kill him since he's gonna reach level 6 right now. And if I don't have ult, need to take good traits only. So we're gonna ward this. Actually, no, we won't ward that bush. You can clear it right now. Jumping, jumping on top of him is still risky. That was bad spacing. Like if Talia is right now mid, if Talia is behind him and I jump on him, he ults and then I can't reset my jump and I die. That's so why I don't want to jump on him. I'm gonna play safe. Who wears a helmet? But yeah, the standing phase seems to be over though. I just want to see Talia before I do anything here. And it's important to not lose too much HP. 
by his poke because then he can only miss into how pretty weak sustain with no portions. Is level 5? Oh yeah, well, I'm dumb. The thing is, he can reach level 6 uh, any time, right? That's also the thing. Okay, now his ult is gone. I can sustain with cool and bloodline this HP back. I'm afraid of him uh, turning 6 any minion. Gonna stand behind wave now. I misplayed it a bit. Okay. Oh. It's a winner's lobby. It's it's just a winner's lobby, man. I don't know what to say. Base now. Uh, pickaxe, and then we wait 15 gold, we get Zerkers. And we jump over the Nexus. Perfect. Okay, ping in top, but he's fine. Vaccine, thank you for two months reset. I'm pretty hard now. He still has no boots. So, you know, just gotta look for a nice opportunity to jump on him, take his HP, and then I st start slowly taking his plates. I can start taking his plates even without jumping on him. Need to get the wave in. This is gonna be a little bit of damage with that E and, and auto. We just don't get hit by both parts of W, that's the most important part. Now we play some E. If he stands near it, he will take damage. Okay, well. Should have jumped a bit earlier, but that's fine. Waste both his sums. Obviously, I'm taking a lot of damage. But this is obviously more work for me. Now we go for tower, but I want to wait 5 seconds till I really get the ult so I don't die. Yeah, he's that. I don't even have to. Okay, Lux. Four TS for cool. And a nice Herald to finish up the tower here. And with this E, I'll be able to one shot the whole wave. Now I do like two autos and a base. And a Herald charge should just kill the tower while I'm basing. I have to ult her, as she will double out attack me. She has enough moons to chase me. Alright, Lux burn flash, this guy burn flash ignite. Just gonna go Kraken. It doesn't matter, you can go Gale too in this case if you want. Jumping a bit early. Game is over. It's just a winner's lobby. Winner's lobby situation we have here. Okay, flunky big boss. Thank you for the prime reward here. And now, how you? How you wanna close out the games is very simple when you have a mid lane lead, when you're playing a champ like Tristana. What you start doing is you just push your lane, and then you either look to roam bot top or steal camps, and this way you just fuck one of them. It's very simple. Pulling a wave a bit closer. And now we're gonna go for tier 2. I have a Lulu behind me. He's gonna ult, so I think Lulu shouldn't probably have ulted. He's gonna auto take her down. Don't even need abilities here. With the E proc. Nice Lulu roam. If uh, Lulu wasn't mid, I probably would have played a bit more safe. You have to play according to your teammates. 
Now we take this camp as well. Have to flash the ult so I don't die. Maybe a bit too far this needed in. Take the tower. Your team has destroyed a turret. I dare yet a dare now. I almost fucked that up, I'm gonna be honest. Oh yeah, Talia cannot enter jungle anymore this game. Honestly, I wanted to give it to Zari, but she didn't want to take it. We get PD now. Is my Nidalee really losing to Talon? Oh, she's fine, I think. Doesn't want to spit the kite and then heal up. So the raptors are up, time to steal them. By by keep by, by like stealing their camps and stuff, you're also simultaneously tilting enemy teams. So there's a good chance someone will just go AFK or mentally boom and stop playing. Serious. Because this Talia literally cannot get a camp. Not enough moon speed to get, kill him though. Yeah. We're gonna go top here. So I'm just coming to steal more camps. Behind the Seraphine, good night. Why not infinite a second? Because it's not better than pity. And it's just not better. People do not realize how strong utility is on items that PD gives you. And this render. <laughs>